All right, good morning, guys. It's almost 11. I haven't vlogged in a couple days. Just sort of took a break from it. Um, been busy and stuff like that, too. So uh, I just have some sausages boiling. I'm going to take them out of the casings and fry them up. And I have some cabbage over here. I'm just going to make some cabbage and sausage for lunch. And I took out some burgers for supper. I asked Riley what he wanted, so we're going to have burgers and probably fries. And, yeah, so I don't know what my plans are for today, but I'll try to pick you guys up and bring us along whenever I decide what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start by cleaning out this freezer because it's kind of driving me nuts. Things are falling out this morning. I had out of the fridge, I was cleaning that, and a jar of pasta sauce landed on my foot and it hurt. Something gunky right there, i got to wash that off, so that's what I'm going to work on first. Alright, so I'm still cleaning out the uh, freezer right now, but I came across a bunch of scraps and I figured I would make a um, broth. A lot of these came from the bag in the deep freeze. There's still, this is just veggies, there's meat in there, so I might just take a little pot and do one with just the meat because there were so many vegetables. Uh, that time I did up all that garlic, there was a bunch of peelings from that. And some pepper. There was some asparagus that I had taken out and it thawed. And just got really yucky. I didn't eat it, so I had put it back in the freezer specifically for broth. So I'm going to make up a big thing of veggie broth. Somehow I'll get that frozen. Maybe I'll freeze it in little containers and then pop them out because I don't have very many dishes to freeze it in. And I'm just finishing frying up the sausage that should almost be done. And then I'll throw in my cabbage. Alright, so since it's lunchtime, um, I'm going to sit down and eat. I have my cabbage and sausage, and I put some hot sauce on top of it, so it's going to be really good. All right, <clears throat> so I'm on my way to pick up the kids from school. <sighs> my mom said the road is slippery, so I'm not too impressed. I called yesterday for them to come up. Like, there's spots that are bare, but there's a lot of spots that are slippery, too, so. But obviously, they didn't listen to me. They didn't come up, so. Anyways, I got the burgers cooked that I was going to make for supper and I uh, got the french fries in the oven on, I don't know, like 250-ish. Oh, my nose. I didn't do very much. Well, I got a little bit done today, not very much. I, um, what did I do? <coughs> I cleaned out that freezer and I mopped the floors and just did some laundry, made some of that cabbage and sausage. There's enough left. I put the rest of it in the freezer, I think. I think I put it in the freezer. And I made the burgers and fries and I watched a couple of movies. Just kind of took it easy. I should probably be going down in a lower gear so I don't have to touch my brakes so much, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I haven't been vlogging very much. Um, this morning we got the news that uh, I'm gonna go down into a lower gear here. The one of the girls that used to go to dialysis with uh, Jay when he first started, uh, they ended up going like when he had to go like an hour and a half away or whatever. Uh, she would drive with him. 
should drive them down and that. She was in pretty bad shape. She had like heart problems and cancer and dialysis and whatever else. And this morning we found out that she passed away. So it's gonna take me an hour to get down the hill going this slow. I hate, I hate it, I hate it. If the car starts to slide. This is ridiculous, like, absolutely ridiculous. I'll be glad when it's melted and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, <clears throat> and then I woke up, I had like scratches all over myself. I have one in my face, like right under my eye and My arms and stuff like that it was really weird I mean I could have scratched myself in my sleep but I have really short fingernails so I don't know <sighs> yeah I called yesterday when we when we got home and I was like there's spots on the hill that are bare but then there's other places where it's just freaking icy and you're slipping all over the place and it's like can you send somebody back and of course they didn't are idiots. I'm less scared. Go. I'm not. I'm not scared, but I. I'd prefer to go down the hill than up the hill. Just. I've had the back up here many times, especially before I got this vehicle. Uh, when I had the Buick, I had to back up a couple times. And then I had uh, Sunfire, I think, or, or Cavalier. <laughs> and I had to back that up a couple times. It's just not fun. I think with the sun beating on it, it would melt it some, but it don't. Well, it, it does, but... <sighs> not... I don't know, it's just... See, like, there's spots that aren't bad if you can get some traction there. But I don't want to go too close to the edge because I don't know how soft it is. And on the left-hand side of, like, over this way, there's, uh, it's like a little ditch. Water and stuff that flows in it, but I just don't want to go and get stuck in there. I'm hoping this is one of the good hills because uh, it was pretty well melted out yesterday so we didn't get any snow so I imagine it's still good because there's two coming up here there's like two bad hills and this is one of them just because it goes you have to well you'll see in a minute but you have to like go around like a sharp turn to be able to get up it and then there's a bump so if you lose your traction I've had a lot of people that had to turn around there, but this was one of the one of the hills that we've had to back up many, many times. And then, of course, with <clears throat> the melting of the snow and all that, the frost comes out of the road, so there's like crazy, crazy bumps and dips in the road, and and right here the. See, this is one of the bumps. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a big bump right here. Um, the ice runs across the water. There's like, a, I don't know, a spring or something there. And the water runs across the road, so there's like usually ice. I mean, I'm not scared of going over because there's a big enough snowbank on the other side. It's on this side here over here, there's, uh, well, I mean, we're up a mountain, so it's down a big mountain. <laughs> it's a long ways down. A lot of people are scared coming up here. I've lived back here pretty much my whole life, <clears throat> except for a couple years I had taken an apartment with an ex-boyfriend. But other than that, I've lived up here pretty much my whole life, so I'm not scared 
The hill doesn't really scare me, but obviously it's a little nerve-wracking when it's nothing but ice. <sighs> and I think that hill that I just come down was the other bad hill. Other than that, it's fairly, I don't know, straightforward. But the two hills that are bad are pretty well bare anyways, so I'm just probably going to come up in four-wheel drive and hope for the best. When we pay our taxes and we have a hard time getting somebody to come up here and do the roads. This is pure ice. It's like I'm driving on an ice rink right now. Ridiculous. Uh, yesterday I was slipping and anyways I'm sure you guys are getting bored of me yapping about the hill but it is what it is it's that time of year I see some of my friends there they're starting to plant gardens and I'm so jealous absolutely ridiculous should have got my dad to come out is what I should have did but he was just getting home on the skidoo when I was getting ready to leave so my toes are like ice cubes anyways nine minutes it usually takes me four and a half to five minutes to get down here so that's how slow I'm going I'm doing 20 which is 30 uh, no 10 10 miles an hour. Ridiculous. I usually do between 30, between 30 and 40 miles an hour coming down here on a good day. I'll just wait till I get to the bottom because I have my hand on the on the shifter in case I have to go down another gear. so ridiculous. All that brown stuff, that's all ice. So freaking ridiculous. If I wasn't in my, I have got my pajama bottoms on, but if I wasn't in my pajama bottoms, I would call the, call the, I would go into the office, talk to these people. I think I'm going to call them on the cell phone when I get to the school. This is ridiculous. I have a ton of garbage that has to come down too and I just never brought it. Anyways, finally made it down. I don't know how it's going to go going up as long as I don't meet anybody. And uh, I'll show you guys our supper when it's made. Other than that, depending on the... Uh, Gotta change gears depending on the the footage that I got from today I may just wait till tomorrow and upload another picture uh, another video sorry I just looks like the cops are up there and of course the next thing is our river is gonna start to open up and start running, so it's gonna cause a risk of flooding. But yeah, we don't have to worry up up on the mountain, but down here and getting to places and stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put you guys away and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. about 9 o'clock, almost 9.30, and just coming out for a drive. I know it's blurry. Oh, Jesus. Let's see 
if I can get it unblurry. Just give me a second. There, that's a little bit better. Anyways, I'm just livid to say the least, but I'm not even gonna get into a big rant because I just I just spoke what I had to speak, what I had to get out. I'm in the car by myself, obviously. Um, just going for a little drive. Going to go to the store. I don't even know if I'm going to put this video up because I might say things that are going to piss people off, but it is what it is, I guess. Just royally fed up. To say the least. Anyways, I can't wait for the summer. I have to go out this damn hill again, this godforsaken hill that you guys saw me go out earlier. It took me 10 minutes to get out. I don't know how long it took me this time, but it's nighttime. I'm probably going a little bit faster than what uh, I did today just because I can't really see where the ice is and it doesn't make me as nervous. Anyways, there's a car coming, that's why I'm gonna wait. That's why I'm waiting. <sighs> I stink like onions because I have frickin' got that broth going on the uh, on the stove and I kinda forgot about it and it was almost boiled frickin' dry, like Anyways, sometimes it just feels good to get out. It wouldn't be so bad if it was the summertime. I could just, I don't really like driving at night because my eyes all, my eyes are all like messed up and crap, but if it was the summertime, it wouldn't be dark. It wouldn't be dark right now. It's a full moon. I can see like you guys can't, but I can pretty well see everything outside. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the store. I'll be back. Okay, so um, just got home and I got a bit of a grocery haul. Technically, we didn't even need groceries, but we ended up picking some up anyways. And this is like Walmart and Shoppers. I'll get to that in a second. And over there, there's a bag from the dollar store, but I'll show you guys that in a second. I had a free coffee. So I grabbed myself a French vanilla. Uh... And Jay got a coffee as well. There was two free coffees and two free donuts. So we went to Tim's and I grabbed two honey crawlers. Just to get that out of the way. I got, there's only two here, but I got four dozen eggs. Uh tend to eat a lot of eggs around here. So every pretty much every morning. So that should last till the end of the month. <clears throat> we still have a lot of rice left, but usually twice a month I use like stock up money and pick something up to stock up and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do so I just went ahead and it was still nine nine forty seven for this big thing of rice and it lasts a while. Uh I still like I said I still have the other bag and I wrote on it it was February I don't know if it was the first of February that we got it or when it was but we still have a ton of rice left from it because this goes a long way so and since switching to this stuff uh this is pretty much all that we use <clears throat> now that I have the rice cooker, so anyways, really good rice. Uh, I grabbed a bag of ketchup chips, um, bag of milk, that doesn't belong in the grocery haul. And then <clears throat> got this deli pack, deli combo pack with salami, ham, and pepperoni. These were $8, they used to be $8, and all of a sudden now they're up to eight forty seven. so I find it ridiculous that these companies and that are just putting the prices of food up whenever the hell they feel like it. It's not, you know, at the beginning of the year anymore. It's whenever they feel like it. So that's total bull crap. But anyways, and I grabbed, ugh, I didn't want to grab the mild. I wanted the hot. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> I should have known green is the mild and red's the hot. But anywho, got the some sausages, which I will, I usually divide and I put like three or four per pack. And stick those in the freezer. And grab some more french fries. Like I said, a lot of this stuff we didn't even need. I just 
picked up th some things that were on sale and whatever. Uh, we got these like tater tots, the Great Value brand, and some more onion rings. Grabbed a barbecue chip as well, and Riley likes these ones. These are only 97 cents, so uh, Riley likes the sour cream, so that's what we picked up. These were a dollar, the Garden Select. Uh, I just like to have them on hand, especially if I want to make a spaghetti sauce, I'll usually use that. We got a flakes of ham, a cream corn, and some sliced peaches. Some peppers, a green pepper, mushrooms, we always get mushrooms. Uh, some bananas, just uh, tomorrow's Friday, so Riley will have one for his lunch. And if they last till Monday, then we'll start the week off uh, with some bananas for his snacks. But yeah, anyways, I grabbed myself some sunflower seeds, because I like those. Uh, these cheesies, they're really, really good, so... That's what I grabbed myself, is these ones here. The other ones are just, the other bags of chips are just to have, uh, Riley usually, when he has a snack, that's usually what he goes for. I mean, don't get me wrong, he eats apples and bananas and all kinds of stuff like that too, but usually before he goes to bed he has a bowl of chips. That's his thing. I prefer he have that than fruit, because fruit's kind of hard on your stomach that late at night. Uh... These were 93 cents clearance at uh, Shoppers, so I grabbed the last three of them. I don't know, yeah, they are peanut free, so I could put these in his lunch, a couple of these uh, to go in his lunch. And then this organic uh, digestive cookie. These were also 93 cents, so I figured I'd get those to try. Uh, grab some cheese slices and another block of cheese and a cucumber. And this cheese here is really good for sandwiches, so that's what I picked that up for. I got Riley some cheese and crackers for his school snacks and lunches. The bear paws were on the family pack for like three fifty or three ninety seven or something like that. So uh, it's like a double pack. You pay a little bit less for a little bit more, I guess. Uh, it's a family pack. I don't know. I think I said double. But anyways, that's what I picked up for school lunches. And then these, because they are not peanut free, I don't see like the peanut free label. And he does have a kid <clears throat> in elementary that's allergic to peanuts. We, I just don't send anything that doesn't have the peanut free label or like this label here. As are blurry, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, pick these up so that he can have these at home. They're just like little mini sandwich crackers. Mini sandwich crackers. There's peanut butter and this is cheese. <coughs> Picked up, <coughs> excuse me, a pack of gluten-free linguine. Ow! Frig! <coughs> and a pack of gluten-free sandwich meat. It's vegan as well. I got some more yeast for uh, bacon bread and stuff like that. I was pretty much almost out, so I got some yop. Some one of you guys were asking me what a yop was. I don't know if I had responded or not, but it's basically a drinkable yogurt. Riley loves them. And something different. You we eat yogurt, but not like a ton of it. Riley likes it, but I have a hard time digesting it. So. Excuse me, any milk product, really. <clears throat> but I got this one here. It's got uh, lemon meringue pie, strawberry, strawberries and cream, berry crumble, and key lime pie. And I'm pretty sure he likes these ones. So these can be snacks at home or school or school lunches. You guys know every grocery haul, I have some of this stuff. It's really, really awesome dip. Uh, grab another butter. I don't know if we really needed it or not, but I know we had bought a bunch of like actual butter, the blocks of butter, but this, uh, is, especially when it comes to like toast, it's a lot better to have the margarine just to spread wise. So that's why I picked that up. Uh, these were on for $1.88. I usually don't buy boxed food like this. Um, but I figured on nights where we're kind of rushed, it'd be good so I allow myself to 
get a couple easy cheap meals I guess so I got three of these with the chicken breast and the potatoes and then I got this it's a barbecue chicken there's two portions in there so uh, <clears throat> it could be for a school lunch I could make one here to see if Riley likes it if he likes it I can give him the other one for his school lunch and this one here is Italian five cheese so we'll give those a try and at least we will know if they're good if we like them and maybe in the future I will pick up some more. I grabbed some romaine hearts for salads and some more tortillas. At A&W, <coughs> excuse me, they have their spice basically that they put on their onion rings. And I figured I've got the onion rings. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper that way. It's only $4 for this and it's like almost $5 for an onion ring at um, A&W. So... That's what I picked up. I like to have that on hand. And I put that on burgers and all kinds of stuff like that. So, uh, <clears throat> I picked up a honey garlic sauce. Unsweetened apple sauce for Riley's lunch. And some juices. I wasn't going to buy... I don't know what's all over that. I wasn't going to buy juice because we have those uh, cans up in the freezer. That I can just make. But it was just kind of like whatever. They were on sale so I picked them up. And grabbed uh, A&W root beer, diet root beer, and some Pepsi. So I'm going to go get this put away, and I will show you guys what I got at the Dollarama. Alright, so this is the Dollarama haul. Uh, I picked up some hot dog buns, because we have a bunch of hot dogs and no buns. I uh, got some of these social tea biscuits, uh, just to snack on. It goes good with tea and stuff like that. We had found peaches at the dollar store for like 50 cents cheaper than what we paid at Walmart, so I picked up another can of those. Uh, I needed some Resolve because a lot of Riley's clothes have stains on them, even the brand new stuff. He just makes a mess, so I figured I'll give that a try and hopefully it'll work. Picked up some of these. Uh, just They're really easy to make broth and uh, soup bases and stuff like that with, so... Got a chicken and two beef. I grabbed one of these just to be able to scoop stuff, hot stuff out. Uh, I was looking for one last time and they didn't have any, so this time they had it and I picked it up. Uh, grabbed some of these wafers to give a, give them a try. They're only a dollar, so and I've been craving chocolate lately, so I'm gonna try those later. I grabbed some of these mini fruit. Uh, Bear paw things here, mixed fruit made with real fruit. They're like gummies. Um, that will go into Riley's snack bucket for school. And then I saw these and I couldn't pass them up because they're just so darn cute. I got a silver one and a gold one and I'm going to put those probably in my living room. Just a little decoration, so yeah. So that's the grocery haul and uh, I'll probably put this on... The videos that I've been kind of piecing together because I don't haven't vlogged very much lately. Gotta go get the Riley from school soon. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Alright, so this package came in the mail from the Canadian Wildlife Federation. I'm not sure why because I don't think that I made a donation to them. Um, anyways, let's cover up my... They sent a pair of socks with butterflies on them. Super cute. And then they have... <clears throat> These are like birthday cards. It's got a bear. That's the inside. That must be the envelope for it. Just a second. And there's this one. They're all like little birthday cards, which are super cute. This one here. Chickadees. And then they have stickers that say happy birthday and birthday hello, birthday wishes. That's really, really cute. And then they have a couple like couple page, um, like notepad type of thing. There's the dragonfly one and the polar bear. I'm going to hide that because it's got my address on it. 
$25 gift. A, 20, a gift of $25 has been made to the Canadian Wildlife Federation by Miss Holly. I don't remember making a donation. That's the weird thing. That's odd. Oh, I guess that's it. There was other mail. But yeah, so this is what I got from the Canadian Wildlife Federation, apparently for making a donation. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more and find out. What goes on what's going on with that so just figured i'd show you this all right so i found the letter that they wrote obviously it wasn't because i made a donation but these were vouchers if i want to make a donation i just send the voucher in and basically if you make a ten dollar donation they will i don't know give 30 instead of the 10 or whatever it says uh Today you're receiving a free spring note card collection and special edition pollinator socks uh, with the hope that you will use these useful gifts with pride celebrating Canadian wildlife. As you use these gifts, you will help share the beauty of our species and wild spaces with friends and loved ones. Uh, I think it's just kind of like they send... Um, Sometimes they'll send like uh, address labels and they want a donation to like the war amps. I think it's kind of something like that maybe. I'm not really sure how they even got my address. I don't really know. So, But anyways, it's a cute little gift and I will definitely wear these with pride. Because they're stinking cute with the little butterflies everywhere. Anyways, I just thought I would share that. Come on now, speed up. All right, I'm on my way to pick up Riley from school. I'm leaving a little bit early. Hopefully you guys aren't bouncing around too much. Oh, there's my sister. We're leaving at the same time. Anyways, um, yeah, the road is pretty. Pretty melted out compared to the other days, so it's good. Uh, I just finished a grocery haul, but I think I'm gonna put that video with the other clips from the other day, just because I didn't really have that much to. Uh, I'll see. Anyways, I still haven't made the video there, but if well, whatever I decide to do, either way, there'll be two videos going up today. Uh, make up for lost time because I haven't been vlogging very much. And I have been freezing since last night, so I hope I'm not coming down with anything. It's just more like my hands and my feet. Oh, she must have forgot something. She's turning around. Doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we went to town this morning and... I wasn't going to really buy very much, but I ended up buying a crap load of stuff, like usual. Uh, not like we needed it. The pantry and the, the freezer and all that's full. But whatever, it's all good to have, I guess. Oh, this nose of mine is constantly blocked. I don't know if it's just allergies or... What last night there, I couldn't handle it. My nose was driving me mental. So, hopefully, the sap will be running back at the camp soon. And we'll be able to get the maple syrup going because it's just so much better than the store bought stuff. I uh, we ran out. I got a couple bottles from my dad throughout the last year. But we ran out and I had the, we almost made it. Like we don't eat a lot of, I don't eat like pancakes or nothing like that. Uh, it's not that I don't like them. I just, I just recently started eating breakfast 
And usually it's like eggs or like eggs and sausages or something like that. Uh, and I try not to give it to Riley just because he gets uh, a little bit crazy when he's got sugar in him. So I try not to give him that stuff on the weekend, whatever, but not on school days, that's for sure. Now the road is going to, once, well, tomorrow we're supposed to get snow, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I mean, it's expected because our snow only completely, completely melts at the end of June, uh, at the end of May, sorry around the middle to the last week of June is when we can actually plant stuff outside uh, <clears throat> and it not have that risk of getting like frostbite or I think that's what it's called. I can't think right now. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Frostbite? No? It doesn't sound right. Anyways, risk of frost. And then when the frost starts starts coming out of the road, then there's like big dips in the road and holes, and that's a whole new, different ball game. I honestly prefer to drive uh, in the winter on the snow than I do in the mud and the holes and all that stuff. I'm not looking forward to it. I got stuck so bad one year. The wheel of the and it was a. Buick Rendezvous that I was driving and uh, almost looked like somebody made a drain there. Anyways, the I was sunk down like three quarters of the wheel was in mud. I had to get somebody to come pull me out. I think it was my brother-in-law. I've had quite the adventures anyways. And then there was one time too I went, I was at a, I went and I parked somewhere, I don't know why, but, and I had like bald tires and I went in the uh, mud and I was so stuck and I just happened to call my brother-in-law because he was like in the vicinity. So he's like, yeah, I'll come give you a hand. Him and his uncle showed up. His uncle was all like, you know, well dressed, brand new pair of jeans he was wearing. They're like, okay, we're gonna push and you just give her gas. The poor man was covered from head to toe in mud. I felt so bad. And I've never met him before. That was the first time that I met him, so awkward. But yeah, so. But Plenty of times I came to my brother-in-law's rescue, for instance, I don't know how many times that man has locked his keys into his car, and I had to use my CAA to call the tow truck, or the whoever, to come and help. Oh my god, there's somebody, oh, there was somebody making tracks, the municipality. Not tracks, but, uh, drains. <clears throat> I, thought, I thought that was a drain that I saw. Oh well. I mean, that's what's bad is they it leaks right across the road. So that's why I don't like going over to the side too much because you never know if it's going to let go. I used to walk up this hill all the time with uh, my best friend. She's the one that passed away uh, two years ago after she had a her second child. She used to come up on the weekends all the time and when we were in high school and elementary and she we used to walk up here all the time. Oh my lord, I'm getting thrown all over the place. I hope I don't have a hard time this spring. construction going on up here. 
<sighs> They're weird like that. They like decide to fix the road when it's still cold out. And then there's people over there. Oh my god, that guy's backing back up the hill. My sister's on his way, her way down. Anyways, they decide to fix the roads, or they're digging out the ditches here when it's cold. But yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's two guys over there on the ice, and you can clearly, like, aren't you supposed to slow down a 50, buddy? Cop just flying through. Cops can do whatever they want. <laughs> Anyways, I got a couple of friends that are cops, so. I'm not basher, anybody. Anyways, the uh, the water you can see is like coming up on the ice there, and these idiots are out there. I don't know if they're ice fishing or what the heck they're doing, but they're just looking to fall through. I say a couple more nice days there, and the river's probably gonna start opening up, and then. Uh, then we gotta watch for flooding because we're prone to flood here. As I think I've mentioned before in my videos. <sighs> Almost at the school. Anyways, I should shut you guys off for now. That's, that's enough rambling for one video. I know a lot of my videos have been in the car lately. Uh, I just don't really get five minutes to myself to to vlog, so this is where I do it. Anyways, talk to you guys in a little bit.